living good. About we about to get it started right it's now, baby. What's good with you, real? All right, let's get it, baby. It's your boy GDQ. We here with the Activated Podcast at the West Coast Radio Summer Block Party. Hey, hey. You know what I'm saying? Got a very special guest with me. Let them know, baby. Dub Ducey. Hey, I appreciate y'all having me. Shout out Activated Six Art. Shout out the whole brand GDQ, Real Walter Ford, Mac. Appreciate y'all having me on Activated. You already know, baby. You already know. We already got you on one time, bro. And then we about to get you on again tomorrow, right? Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell so yeah, we about here. to. We about to. Uh, this will be like the third, the third time interviewing. Yep. Uh, Y'all gotta excuse my awkwardness. I'm high as a motherfucker. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but yeah, man. It's a, it's you know we family. It's all love. You know what I'm saying? You got two performances today. One in San Diego. Yeah, one in LA. Yeah. So how does it feel to come out to California and come and spread your music, bro? Shit, it's amazing. I I appreciate the whole West Coast how they receive me and support me. I love it every time I'm out here. Everybody treat me like family, like a king. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's all love. I love it out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, so bitch get off me, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Bitch get off me. That kind of has like a, almost like a California bounce to it, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so you know what I'm saying? Um, like how, that record, you know what I mean? How did that come about and shit? Because I've been wondering about that uh, shit for a while. I, one of my favorite songs by Master P is obviously Hootie Who. And at the end, I love the part where he brings the bitch get off me chant in over the, you know what I mean? So it's really just me paying homage. Shout out to Master P, you know what I mean? All No Limit. Uh, I was heavily influenced by that, you know what I mean? That wave of, you know, Southern rap, late 90s, 3-6 Mafia. So it just kind of cultivates itself in my style, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I feel that. Yeah, 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 that's real. All right, then my bad. Like, it's not really a California bounce. But it, it kind of has that feel, you know what I mean? Like, it's no, definitely a, a the bigger beat, the, record. The beat, cause, it's a bigger record, yeah, than, yeah. you know what I mean? So that's kind of like... And and I and I feel like with the with the flow of it, it could definitely be more... I mean, the tempo of the beat, the right. flow... But it's definitely got that more, like, southern bounce and yeah, shit to yeah, it. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, No, I fuck with that. I fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? With the with the, with the the Midwest touch on it. With a little, with sprinkle, a little bit of the Indiana a touch, salt on it. you know what I mean? Yeah. Just a tiny bit of the touch. Sauce it up. All right, you know what I'm saying. What are you gonna perform today then? Uh, I'll probably be, be performing uh my two latest singles, which will be "Bitch Get Off Me" and then my latest single "Bay" that I just released. It's on Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, Spinrilla. Y'all can go get that. So, is there something dropping soon though? Oh yeah. The album, the album, you hoes. Hey, my, I'm dropping the album, self-titled called Deucey, uh, August 16th, and uh, I feel like it's a cultivation of my life's work. This, I'm proud of this project, and I can't wait to share it with the world for real. Sweet, bro. Sweet. I'm hype. You know, I'm finna listen. I'm finna tune in. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, so, we, yeah. I'm hype. I'm, I'm, I've been, I've been a caveman. I ain't done shit for like two months. I ain't went outside. I've been going to the liquor store and home and locked, and, in. and locked in the studio. You know what I mean? I'm back to recording myself. I'm just in a more comfortable space as far as artistry goes. So I'm just, I'm eager to put this up at this one out. Like I'm always kind of nervous and get the pre release jitters, but this shit, I have, I have no doubts. I'm hype, bro. Like I'm for real hype. I've been looking. Appreciate I mean, you've been teasing it and shit. So I mean, we'll learn more about it tomorrow. So I mean, we here at the uh, at the summer block party. We getting yeah. it on, and I'm yeah, excited, bro. Yeah. First summer interview block of the party. day, bro. Oh yeah. The, the always getting new content, baby. So make sure y'all look out for your, uh, the self titled album Deucey coming yeah. soon, and we gonna get into it more tomorrow. So let's yeah, get it, baby. For sure, for sure. <laughs> Welcome back, y'all. No, I'm just playing. This is the first one, man. We are here at the World Beat Center. It's Walter Ford. I got my guy Quell right here. What's up? What's up? Appreciate you coming to the Activated. Getting activated, bro. How you living today? Uh, I'm good. I woke up a few hours ago. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, nigga. Uh, I feel you. Me too. Yeah. Looking like this, exactly. Like Beyonce said, nigga. I was fucked up. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, We out here, y'all. This is the Block Party G, Summer Block Party, West Coast Radio. Shout out West Coast Radio. Um, how'd you hear about this, bro? Man, so I follow Go Ham Radio, Fuck and yeah. I saw this event promoted, and I just came here by myself on some like on, on a humbug. Like, yeah, like I'm, I'm not in the promo. Yeah, for sure. Like I gotta 
Nobody wanted to come with me. I'm like, you know, I got to just do my own thing. It's whatever. And then yeah. I just saw you guys' table right here. Um, I didn't I didn't even know um, about the Activated Podcast till now. But now that I know, I'm for sure about to follow bro. you guys and start listening to y'all podcast. Get on us, bro. Yeah, we got you. We, got, we might have to get you on there. Uh, so are you from San Diego? Yeah, um, I was born in Lansing, Michigan, but I was raised You're from here. Michigan? You was born in Michigan? That's crazy. Nigga. I'm yeah. From, I'm from I'll, Gary, Indiana, bro. I'm right around there. Yeah, I've I was. I've been raised since I was six years old, so San Diego is really all I know, though. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah, you lucky ass. Lucky ass nigga. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> so, so you rap, bro? Is that what you do? I don't want to assume. Yeah, because I graduated from college two years ago, but during college, I used to perform at open mics, <laughs> so I didn't actually really record any music. I would like, write to these beats online. And then I would just have the beats played out the open mics and just rap to them. And really? Then, so you um, got that performance. You was just in there, look. Yeah. Because you had a rapper face, look. Like, yeah. So then about a year ago, I actually dropped my first EP called oh. Grace Period. And Hell I dropped yeah. that on SoundCloud, Spotify, everywhere. So you want all the all the social platforms, yeah, yeah, yeah. all download streaming. And then I dropped a I get it new from Pookie EP. around the corner. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I dropped a new EP um, Monday on the 8th. It was my birthday. And okay. I was, like, I was like, let me, instead of having people like give me a gift on my birthday, like let me gift people with a present being new music for of me. my voice, nigga. Yeah. Hell yeah. So I've dropped a surprise EP. What's That's this on called? SoundCloud right now. It's called Let It Out. Okay. That's on SoundCloud right now. Um, just Let only it SoundCloud out. for now, but yeah. Let it out. Did you feel you had to let something out? Was that the reason you had to let it out, nigga? Yeah, or man. Is there you know, I had some subliminals, shit. nigga? Is you shooting shots? That's not like you. I had some shit to get off my chest, bro. So I got like shit <laughs> where I'm just rapping, rapping my ass off, and then just like some little introspective shit, you know? Fuck yeah. That's literally just what a, just literally just landing out. Like all I, all I have to say, basically. Okay. So it's more expressive. So you just started rapping two years ago? Is that, did I understand? Yeah. Right? Mm hmm. How I've been writing you, since high school, but I haven't started rapping since about two, three years ago. How old are you, bro? Uh, 23. I just turned 23 Monday. Fuck yeah. So at 21, you was like, nigga, I'm finna do this. I'll fuck with yeah. that, bro. I believe, like, really, like, we're all, your desire to want to do something is God's proof that it's yours to have it already. Yeah. So I, I, that's what's up, bro, that you even, like, what made you just, like, say, fuck it, I'm doing it today? Like, start even going up to the open mics. Whoa, okay, yeah. Because that's deep, bro. That's... Because yeah. rapping at open mics is trash. Doing comedy at open mics, I mean, not trash, but it's like <laughs> nine times out of ten, people ain't come to the open mic, you know what I'm saying, to see you in particular. You yeah. know what I'm saying? No, Imagine I, doing comedy. It's even worse. No, I, I'm just laughing. I had a great support system. So there's uh, someone I knew back at school. Okay. Um, we linked, SB, right? We, yeah, we linked freshman year in the dorms, and we would freestyle in my room. Okay. Play some beats with freestyle. Hell what yeah. happened was people was hearing us from the hallway and was coming in my room to listen to us. And then a lot of those people who became my friends, because they were like, bro, like you need to start like doing these open mics. Hell yeah. So my friends started making me like rap at these open mics. And and then, you know, I kept getting good feedback. And I was like, well, shoot, I probably could like really do this. And then I'm really into music. I, I listen to a lot of like like R and B rap and stuff. Okay, wait, and a wait. lot of people I listen to, they're like around my age and even younger. And I was like, I got people my age like doing this shit, but I'm here at school being miserable. Exactly. Like studying and shit. So I was like, why can't I do this? You know, I still stayed at school to got my degree and stuff. But I'm like, I mean, hey, bro, get yeah. the education. Shout out. You got your education and living your dreams. I see you, boy. Yeah. We black men educated. We out here. What'd That's you get a right. degree in, bro? Uh, political science. Okay. You're trying to change the world. Okay, I see you. Yeah. I uh, see you. Yeah, that's another thing. So when I uh, got the political science major, you know, people kept telling me, oh, I can go to law school, be a lawyer. Or people like, yeah, no, you, you can options. be the next. My dad's like, no, you got to be the next Barack Obama. But I realized that politics, after I got the degree, is not what I wanted to do. Yeah, politics is lawyer. interesting, bro. It's yeah. interesting. I ain't saying don't do it, but it's just it's an interesting thing to do, bro. Um. Fuck, what was I going to say after that? Okay, so I, back, back before, you said you listen to R&B, and you, who were your influences, bro? Are you R&B and rap back in the yeah. day? You 23, so I mean, you you kind of got a good eclectic. You can you probably still know about the old school. Yeah. Like Biggie, you know, you I know you know about Biggie, obviously, but yeah. do you wang Biggie, though? Like, you got Biggie on a playlist, or Tupac on a playlist? Nah, I, I don't listen to him as so, much as I should have. Who, who you listen to, bro? Oh, that's a good question. What you mean? That's a good question, bro. Because I, I listen to a lot, man. I, what's, what's, obviously, I what's listen. What's your go-to? My go-to? Your go-tos. Go-tos. Damn. Like, what, 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 
influences your music? I, I, I can tell you my that. top five rappers. All right, let's okay. do that. So my top five rappers of all time is, in, in, in no particular order, is Stafford Kanye. He's my favorite music artist. Okay. Uh, it would be Kanye, Kendrick, Drake, Lil Wayne, and Nas. That's like my top That's five. That's interesting. But, Drake, yeah. Lil Wayne, and Nas? Okay. No, not Lil Wayne. My bad. You said Drake who and who? Drake, Kendrick, Lil Wayne, uh, Nas, Lil and Wayne. Kanye. Yeah. I give you that. I like that. Kendrick yeah. Catman. I take, I take a piece of them and put it all into my music. Like, um, they're very big influences. But in terms of who I listen to right now, I listen to, like, I, I keep up to date with a lot of music. So, so you all, the new album, all the new albums I drop, I keep on top. So Heck I can yeah. tell you all the new school artists I listen to. I listen well, to like, well, like, really not even that. I'm uh, really more interested in you, bro. Okay, who do you sure. um? Who do you? Well, let's go back to your new EP real quick. Okay. About the new EP, it just came out, right? Yeah, on SoundCloud. T tell us about it. Uh, what what was the influence? And then, and then I want to know about you. You know what I'm saying? And then where we can find you at? Okay. So in terms of influence, I kind of had. Since, since Mac Miller died, that was like he, he's a big influence on me. Okay, what was it called again? Let, uh, let, let it out. Let it out. Yeah, let it out. I, I have a couple songs in there that kind of have like a Mac Miller feel in terms of the beats and stuff, and my flow a little bit. But I didn't really think of anyone too specific when I was making the EP. I literally just found like really dope beats, and I just rapped I just the way said, I Fuck wanted it, to rap. Gonna... Yeah, but. I can be very introspective, and I get that from I get that from Drake because Drake taught me that you gotta be afraid to literally like say how you feel and rap anymore. Uh, yeah, so he's a big influence. Yeah, yeah. And then definitely Kendrick, just in the way like you can like weave verse together. He's also an yeah. influence for sure. So, so real quick, set it off. Set, let it, let it, let it out. Yeah, let how it many out. Tracks is on there, bro. Which one's your favorite? And then uh, tell us where we can find you at, bro, because we are gonna get the rest of it on the next interview. Okay, it's about. It's about nine tracks on there. It's about not, I think about eight, no, eight to nine. It's about 27 minutes long. So right now it's on SoundCloud. What's your I'm, favorite one? What's your favorite song? Oh, on it. Ooh, that's tough. Um, I would say Out of My Mind. Out of My it's Mind? It's the second to last song, yeah. Okay. It has a, it has a really cool uh, sample from a Childish Gambino song that um, makes up a huge portion of the beat. And then... I tried something different on there. Childish Gambino, okay. Yeah, okay. It, it has a sound. I'm not going to say which song, yeah, yeah, but yeah, you're, yeah, you're yeah. going you to know You got to listen to it. You got to check it yeah, out. Yeah, you got to listen to gotta it. got to listen to it. So, that. I tried something different on there. Rather than me doing like yeah. my normal ride, just, just riding my ass off, I tried being a little more like like melodic and stuff. Okay, you were in so, there like, Ooh. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people have like been telling me. Shit. Yeah, they've been, they been telling me like it's their favorite song because it's so different. I feel So, that. definitely, that's my favorite too. I, Hell I would yeah. Say. Well, tell everybody where we can find you at, bro. All and, right, uh, find all the stuff. Yeah, so if you want to follow me on Instagram uh, or even Twitter, you can go up, look up Quell Amazing. It's spelled Q U E L M A Z I N G. I got the link to my new EP uh, out on my Twitter and my IG. Just click on the link in my bios. Yeah, 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 for sure. And then if you go on my Spotify or like uh, my Apple Music. Quell, all caps, Q U E L. I got music um, distributed everywhere on those as well. We everywhere. Yeah, man. We I'm global. trying to. I'm trying to do more shows. I have a lot of freestyle videos on my IG too. You can look at. My guy, glad to have you on here. Thanks for having Check me. Check out Quell. We're gonna get him on a on a you dig for real. He been activated. Activated Woo! baby. Welcome to the Activated Podcast, baby. No, I'm just playing. I'm the real Walter <laughs> Ford. We made it back. I'm here with the lovely Lucy. Hey. With an I. Make sure you put the I on there. Put an I on that. That's it. Damn right. So, yeah, I just met Lucy not too long ago. Awesome energy. I needed that. I needed to wake up. We go way back, like five minutes. Yeah, like way back, like four flats on a Cadillac. Four and three quarter minutes ago. But it's cool, though. It's all love. So, Lucy, tell me about yourself. I didn't even get to meet you. We didn't get to sign no papers or nothing. Yeah, we didn't sign no papers. None. But we're officially here. You from so, San Diego? I'm actually originally from Lima, Peru. Oh, and word, yeah. Okay. Yes, okay. Peru, Peru. Yo, I've been here for three years. I mean, I grew up okay. in the States, um, Midwest, armpit of America. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> you did? Yep. Okay, so I'm you know what Indiana. that's like. Indiana, okay. Kentucky, Texas, Arkansas, oh. Oklahoma. You over there with the burning. I was the most boring high school experience ever. 
Um, but then I lived in Nashville and oh, okay. moved to music, LA. Food. Yep, music, yes. And I do like a, a fusion of pop, Latin, and R and B. Um, I like so that. like soulful oh. vocals with some, you know, yeah. Shakira vibes and, Shakira, and some Shakira. Christina, you know, crazy. Okay. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah. So I've been here for three years, but I'm just now returning to music after almost seven years of being so, away. So you did it before back in like Tennessee yeah. and stuff? Like yeah. you did the Latin yeah. Latin music to the country I people. I did, and they <laughs> fucking loved it. <laughs> do your dreams. Live your dreams. <laughs> but I took a step away. I have four kids, and okay, at the time awesome. I had two, I took a step away to just, like, figure myself out. Yeah. You know, what do I want? What's my voice? What do I want to say? Exactly. And during that time, I launched another business. I, I wrote a few books. Um, I became a Wait, coach. Wait, you said you wrote a book? I wrote three books. You got three, three books. books? Okay. And um, I need to get find me one of those. <laughs> gotta, I like books. It's all sexy mama stuff. The sexy mama oh, okay. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I can so learn some. You, you can, know, you I can, can learn, learn some, maybe. It applies to everybody. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's and awesome, And then I have though. two more kids in L.A. We moved here three years ago, and I'm just now, like, discovering all of the music scene Woo, in San Diego ready. after Look. my album dropped in May. Yo, okay. So it all just kind of, like, happened, at happened one time. out of nowhere. Seemingly. Ain't it crazy how, like, so I do stand-up comedy, and, like, oh, when nice. I moved here... It was kind of like everybody was against me and everything kind of didn't happen. And yeah. then when I just put my mind to it, to deciding that I want to only do comedy and just that, everything just fit itself it flows, in, the, right? in this place. It falls like, into place. Like the world moves itself out the way for you. Yeah. Like the universe is like putting all these pieces together. Like, I really yeah. believe it. And that's something I always told my clients was like, know what you want. Get clear about what you want. What's that vision? Ooh. And you don't got to figure out the how. Just, you know, commit yourself. And I feel like that's exactly what happened. And... And you don't hear preaching. You better say that. You don't hear preaching. In less than nine weeks, this album was done. Wait, nine That's weeks? How, less than nine weeks. It What's was like it called? eight and a half weeks. It's called Bear. Like like Naked Bear. Because I had to get emotionally naked to write this album. Okay. The most okay. vulnerable stuff I've ever written. Bear. Okay, I like that. Bear. I like that. So Lucy Bear. So you made it in nine weeks. What was like the inspiration? Like, did you just was like, I'm doing it right now? Or did kind you? Kind of, kind of. It, well, actually... Uh, in January, I decided that I wanted to write a couple songs. Okay. So I hit up my guy who used to be my drummer in the band in Nashville. And I was like, what you doing? He's from Trinidad. <laughs> He's got funky vibes. What you, and, what you got going, bro? What yeah, you got going? I was like, you busy? You yeah. want to do some writing? He's like, I just got off tour. Fuck. Let's do it. And it just, I don't know. It's like the floodgates opened and it turned into a couple dozen songs. And That's I put crazy. 11 on the album. Found a producer here in town to That's collaborate amazing. with. And then another one. And, um, yeah, so and it all we, came together, like you're saying, you know? So is it, it's Bear on all the social media? I mean, not social media, all streaming platforms? Yes, yeah, Spotify, Spotify, Apple Music, everything. All What's your places. favorite song on there? That is so hard. It changes all the time. Okay. Every, every right now, time. Right now, today, like right, right now, at this moment. My favorite one to perform is Fucked Up. Fucked Up. Yes. I think I like that song already. <laughs> Yes. Hashtag fucked up already. No, I'm yeah, just Yeah, it's about like the push pull of love. You know, okay. So I've been married for almost 13 years Woo. and we've been through a lot of shit. Okay. A lot of shit. That's a, yeah, that's the story that's right real. there. Yeah. That's a story. In fact, during that time that I was away, my husband, who's a veteran, went through a depression and a disability and it was just complete hell. That's when I became a coach. And, and did you put that into this album? Yes. Do you feel like that's kind of yeah. like. All the emotion, the ch channeling that. I channel shit. it into the dance, the song, the performing. I might have to get, get up on this. I feel like I'm late. My bad, Lucy. I'm, I'm late. You're going to see some of it today. Oh, say no more. Oh, yeah. yeah Lucy's performing today. Yeah. I forgot. You're going to see Lucy today. If you come today at some point in time before we upload this. Yeah. Right um, now. You're already late. Um, Damn, Lucy. You just said a lot so far. Like, I, I want to go back and I be like, you yo. I told you to condense it. Okay. Yeah, you did jam, condense jam, it jam, hella jam. fast. <laughs> um, let me see. Uh, so, do you have any influences? I know you said you have like a Shakira. We said Shakira before, but is she an influence yeah. or other yes. people? Um, so, she's Colombian and I'm Peruvian. And when I was a kid, I mean, I, I didn't grow up in Peru, but I was born there and I yeah, remember yeah, going yeah. back to visit. And exactly. she was huge there. Like, when, back when she really? had like black hair, she was kind of emo, like yeah, emo yeah, girl. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Really she cool. was figuring herself out. Yeah, like raw. She wasn't she like was hips though. don't lie lady yet. Yeah, she, she was, was sexy, like, though. ah, like angsty, you know? And I loved it. And I was also into Atlantis, Morissette, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But And this I grew is when up, you were younger? Yeah. Or? Well, that was more like 
10 through 13. You know, the preteen okay. years yeah. that two of my daughters are in right now. God help us. Exactly. Um, but yeah, it's 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 uh, a lot of that. And then the, the pop divas, you know, like Mariah, Christina, yep. actually Selena. All the big ones. Because I lived in Texas when she was still alive. Really? And um, who else? I mean, Justin Timberlake, huge influence. Ain't no more money in the tails, my mom. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, JT is awesome. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I love JT I a lot. I want to meet him one day. So, um, yeah. Um, which, which song would you say on Bear is going to make me cry first? Because <laughs> uh, it sounds like it's getting real, yeah, 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 real yeah, yeah, deep. Yeah. So, like, so I'm liking this. The one that makes me cry every single time and a lot of other people cry, is one called Maria Lucia, which is actually my full name. Okay. And, um, and, and, and because of what it represents, it's like me owning this childhood dream that that like little that. girl that like never gave up. Exactly. You know, through all of the stuff, fighting. all the crazy. Yeah, and she just, she's, she's like always there. She's always there for me. Ooh. And so that's what that, and there's this one part at that. the end of the second verse that like my husband cries every single time. Really? So it's like sad like and inspiring. Down. It's like hopeful, the same time. and then we're like, "Fuck! Like I have to do this. I can't not do this." It's kind of that kind of like exactly. Like I'm doing it for myself, not yeah. for anybody else. And I think that's the best art when you do it for yourself, and then other people like. Yeah, yeah, because you're being you. It's you made know? for me. That you know. is like as authentic as you can get. We're all humans, and then yeah. when you find the human or the most human way ex to express your creativity. I feel like you got something there. And I ain't even heard it yet, and I think you already got that. <laughs> um, you gonna hear it. So you only have one project? It's just Bear? Yes. That okay. is a, that, yeah. So all of the current music, none mm -hmm. of my old music is up anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, no more. We, we up, we up, you, you know, know. We up to speed here. We up to speed here. now. Yeah, yeah we gotta stuff. keep it current. Um, anything you wanna tell? Anybody you wanna shout out? Well, let's see. Um, definitely check out Bear on any of the play. Just look up Lucy with an I and Bear, B-A-R-E. Not like the animal, but like yes. the naked. <laughs> I think naked. <laughs> you can remember Not that, the right? Bear. Remember that. Not the animal. And I have uh, my next full show at the Good Bar in Point Loma on okay, Saturday, yeah. July 20th. Yeah, so one week from today. Say no yeah. more. Yeah. I'll make I'll sure I try to come through. You got to check it out. Um, this has been Lucy. I feel like I learned a lot today. Uh, I need to get Bear as well and start... <laughs> putting it out there um check her out super dope all positive vibes you know i'm about the positive vibes um i'm out i appreciate you coming on we actually need to make sure we fill this out and get you on a whole episode yeah this is the activated cool. podcast y'all Woo boo. <laughs> all right you ready yeah three two one hey what's cracking baby it's what's your boy gdq what's going on it's julius you know what i'm saying the chronicles of baron q we back you know what i mean <laughs> This is my little homie, Julius, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we go way back, you know what I mean? I used to beat this fool up in, like, fourth grade. Man, <laughs> I just... hey. <laughs> Whoa. Well, just... it's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Nah, uh, we here at the Summer Block Party, the Activated Podcast, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but for real, though, this fool is a cool-ass dude, you know what I'm saying? So let him know what you got going on, bro. Hey, well, I have a few things going on. I have my own hair grease business. It helps grow your hair. It's called Emma's Hair Growth. We have a beard oil, too. We also have a CBD-infused cream. So, you know, anything you're looking for, we got good hair products. And Emma'sHairGrowth.com. Emma'sHairGrowth.com? Yes. Well, can it save me from balding? It might be able to save you, bro. <laughs> it might be able to save you. You got like, something for me? Yeah, I can give you a sample. <laughs> I, um, this girl that um, we gave her, she got cancer. And she been using it for two years, and her hair is like a fro now. For real? Yeah, and she uses it through chemo and everything. What's like, it called? What it? Um, she uses the the uh, natural product. Oh wow. Yeah. So we have a shea butter. We have we have shea butter. We have a beard cream. We have a lavender cream, and then we also have a CBD infused. Oh, that's and, yeah. that's dope. Yeah. That's dope as fuck, bro. Yeah. I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna give you one of my business cards. All right. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Let me know. Let me know. Yeah, yeah bro. I mean. So how's it feel to be in California again, bro? Man, I love it, man. I'm here. Like, the vibes are great. I always love being here. The people are dope. You know what I'm saying? I love the experience. Thanks for having me. I see you doing big things now. Got your own podcast, my boy. 
Look at you. You know what I'm saying? You yeah, know what I'm saying? We're here. See? It's good, bro. It's been going good. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like California is the place to be kind of right now. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's kind of popping. And it's cool to have you like come out and support your homies and shit. Oh, so. yeah. I have to support, bro. So make sure y'all support his business, please. Will you let him know again what it is? Yeah. My business is Emma's Hair Growth. You can follow us on Instagram at Emma's Hair Growth. Follow us on Facebook at Emma's Hair Growth and Emma's Hair Growth.com. And it'll help me from balding. Yeah, it definitely will help you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Thanks again, bro. I appreciate yep, it, bro. Yep, yep. Hey, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Mac2301 from the Activated Podcast. And we live from the West Coast Radio Summer Block Party. Right now, I got a good, a good new friend that I just met. I'm going to go ahead and let him introduce himself. Hey, it's your boy Kid Surge, the hood's hottest young surgeon. I'm repping all the way from Chicago, but I'm out here in Dago. Chi Town, Chi Town, what side? South side? You know what I'm saying? South side, all <laughs> over. To be honest with you, but mostly South side. What part? Yeah. What part? Huh? Harvey. We talking? Uh, yeah, we talking Harvey all over. I was saying, hey, hey, yeah. really quick, hey, AJ. We so, got a cat from Harvey. Harvey, Chicago Heights, all that. That's how I be out God. here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I be, though. But, hey, sir, uh, first hey. of all, I appreciate you coming through, yeah, yeah. man. Uh, how'd you hear about this? Uh, man, well, um, uh, the Go Ham Radio, actually. That Go Ham Radio, they, uh, they, I seen them posting about it, doing a couple posts. And then I, I hit up West Coast Radio to try and get on the open mic spot. And I, obviously, I want to do some interviews with all you cool people. So I had to come and show some love. Hey, hey, well, yeah. we're like I said, bro, we appreciate you coming through. Yeah, man. So, um, so tell me some, tell me a little bit about your music, man. What kind of style do you bring? Like, was it? Tell me about it. Oh yeah, it's like uh, I call it lyrical trap, man. Cause we, we, I, I got bars with it, but I still could get. You know, I like my trap drums. I like, I like my trap beats just because that's where I'm from. You feel me? That's what I don't really do too much drill music, but we turned up. It's really energetic. Uh, it's all about having fun, but I still, you know, I, I try and get every single emotion in there that everybody be feeling. I feel it. I feel it. Yeah. So, uh, so who's your inspirations behind your music? Uh, I have to say J. Cole. That's number one. J. Cole. Um, you listen to that Revenge of the Dreamers? Oh, you know I had it. I was watching the documentary before. The What'd you get? Huh? What'd you give it? A 10. A 10? You get a 100? If I could, right, I right, 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 right. 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 All right, well, shit, yeah, but uh, yeah. you said J. Cole. Who else? J. Cole. Uh, I just now, because I came in the West Coast, I just now started getting heavy on Kendrick and Nipsey, but you know that... Hey, I'm really I'm fans of them, so that's that's really good. Um, yeah, yeah. And I, I have to say, uh, just like really, really Lil Durk and Chief Keef, obviously. Chief I was gonna Keith, say, bro, obviously. being from the yeah, you know I, I, I from, can't forget being about from Chief Chi Town, bro. You I like come I on now go pull it out and of not me. and not have Chief yeah, Keef in them, bro. Durk and Chief Keef, that's, that's that, that'd be stuff. disrespectful, yeah. bro. Yeah. Like I'm from Indiana, and yeah, I was like, I'd be like, hey, bro. Hey, we neighbors and all, uh, but like, you better put some respect nah, on them oh, niggas' no, names. I, 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 I can't forget. I hey, can't forget, man. I feel it. You got any projects out, though, sir? Uh, I got a bunch of singles out. I'm going to have a, um, a project mixtape called Surgical Summer. It's going to be coming out here soon, real soon. Uh, i just been doing a bunch of shows and promoting. I just dropped a new single. It just made it on all the platforms called No Title. No Title. Uh, yeah, and I'm going to be performing at a bunch of places. I got a bunch of different singles as well. But the projects and shows are coming soon. Okay, cool, cool. Follow what about any Instagram. videos? You got videos? Video that that's all coming soon as well. I, okay. I ran into some major some 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 hiccups, but I'm I'm all I'm all everything's hey, it's going all right good. now. It's all yeah. good though. It's all good. So uh, when's your? I'll say so. Give me a list. You say you got a lot of shows and events coming up. Yeah. Uh, the What's next, some next ones? You the got next one up? is in two weeks. Uh, it's going to be the 25th. Uh, up all night Thursdays is hosting it. It's going to be at Till Two Club, uh, and then August 1st is going to be at Space Bar. And Lalo Keys will be hosting that. It's gonna be a hip hop collective. Be pretty, pretty cool. I think I'm actually hosting those next two events. Oh, you're gonna be your host? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna be there? All right. Dude. Hey. Yeah, I was, hey. I was like, yo, that's wait. How, that's how I got. That's how I got introduced. Hey, that shows the networking, bro. That yeah, shows network, the power network, network, man. Man, network. so I say, so is it? So to jump back a little bit, back into okay. you and stuff. Yeah. Is it just you out here? You got. You got label mates? Uh, uh, no, it's just, it's just me. It's just me. Just I'm doing. You? I'm doing it independently right now, trying to make make music and create a, so, so much of a buzz just in the in the SoCal region to where you know either a label is looking at me or to where I can put myself in a position where I'm good independently. So that's how I'm doing it. Hey, right. but I am open to working with everybody. I feel that. I yeah. feel that. Well, shit, Serge. I'll say I know we got a, uh, we got that open mic and you yeah. trying to hop on that. Oh yeah. I, I ain't gonna take too much more of your time, man. We gonna link up later down the <laughs> All road. All right, man. For sure. For sure. Hey, Check I appreciate out. you, my G. Yep. I appreciate you. Yep. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all already know Mac two three zero one, and we back live at the West Coast Radio Summer Block Party. Y'all already know what it is, man. I got another hot artist for you. I'm gonna go ahead and let my man introduce himself to you. Hello. Y'all know who it is. Keith Coley on Last of the Smohicans, baby. What a dope. 
All right, Keith, man, how you doing, bro? Oh, man, I'm chilling, baby. You know what I'm All talking right. about? Hot, like always, getting it in. Last set of SMO at the West Coast Radio yeah, podcast yeah. joint. It's, it's dope today. So, Keith, man, you got a very unique unique name, bro. How, how, how did that come about? Like, I want to I know from the straight beginning oh, man, how you hey. come to that name. It is unique, dog, and I, it's like back in the day, you know what I'm saying? You know everybody want to be little mafia dudes, but we just country. Well, you know, I'm from Charlotte, so my name is Keith. So that everybody used to call me Keith Coleon. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It just, like, I've been getting called that since I was, like, 13, 14 years old. So it just stuck. And it just so happens that nobody else got that name nowhere. So, it, so I'm glad it's mine. No, I, I, I can vouch for that. Yeah, First time I seen it, and I was like, yeah, that's different. <laughs> but it's good, though. It works for you. Hey, it works for you. Bro, so, yeah. so you're from Charlotte. Yeah, uh, yeah. Ain't the baby from there, too? Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Represented for the queen all day. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? I fuck with the baby. Y'all, y'all from the same area? Oh, like, no, nah, no. Nah, I'm from the east side. You okay, feel me? Okay. You know what I'm saying? But it's all true. <laughs> when you cross the when you cross the world, though, you represent for your, your whole city. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm talking yeah. About? Oh, so most definitely, most that's definitely. That's just how it is now. But that's so, that dude. He hot right now. Yeah, I was say yeah. I was say he making he making moves oh, too. Yeah, he but I was say it's good though. He got that side. You got this right, side, you know man. What I'm saying? It'll come together. Right, right. It'll all come together. Right. So tell me a little bit about your music, man. Keep oh going. man, shit, bro. You know what I'm talking about. My music is uh, how can I put this? Good as hell. That's all I can say about it now. But for real, um, oh, yeah, be confident about it. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 my own sound. Like when folks hear me, they're like, "Yo, bro, you don't sound like nobody." I'm like, "I'm I'm glad." You know what I'm saying? I'm, I I got inspired by a few. You know what I'm saying? I was able to mix those sounds together to make my own, and I feel like I come about to it. So you know, if you want to hear some old, you know, say some 3000 vibe with some real nigga flow on it, you know what I'm talking about? Holla at your boy. You know, so right. it's just right. what it is. So, well, you having a unique vibe and flow and everything. Like, who who inspires you? Like, who do you? Okay. Who, who do you take notes from? My inspiration, you know what I'm saying? I can say uh, Devin the Dude was one of them, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, that's the first thing I ever heard singing and rapping. So smooth, you feel me? And he smoked weed. And I'm, you know, always been, you know, I'm last in the smoke Heacons, though. So, you know, I'm always blowing. Andre 3000 from, you know what I'm saying, Outcast. I'm a Southern dude, so Goody Mob. You know, UGK. You know what I'm saying? 8 Ball MJG. 3 6 Mafia. I was going to say 3 6 Mafia. You know what I mean? Hey. Yeah, ho- cash money no limit. Hey, always, dog. Cash money no limit. No limit. Hey, Master P, he- hands down, changed the entire hip hop game. You know what I'm saying, bro? I think it was like in one year that he they put out like 33 100 projects. Records. 100 I was like, records. nigga, what? Pizza put out like six of them a month, dog. That's like, a lot like, of. Uh, hey, that's hustling no. though. That's hustling though. Hey, so do you got any singles out? Oh yeah, man. I got it. Uh, I got a pre P. I call it a pre P. You know what I'm saying? I knew back when. I put that out like in February, you know what I'm saying? To showcase some of my talent that I had on other people's beats. Um, I got Hello out on my YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I'm holding that down until we get done with the EP. The Hello EP coming real soon. For all the, you know what I'm saying? A lot of folks are asking about it. You know what I'm saying? Hello is, is really, you know what I'm saying? Making some buzz out here in the city. So I okay. fuck with all the people who fuck oh. with me. Okay. And now you got, I know you get, with all that, I know you got some shows coming up. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, Today, but yeah, I got, I- <laughs> now. Nah. I got another show on the, tw- uh, I think it's the 26th of the Thursday or something like that at uh, Up All Night Thursdays, you know what I'm saying? Then I got a show at uh, July 30th, uh, I'm featuring at uh, Neo So Tuesday, you know what I'm saying? So they're going to have the hip hop artists in there with a live band, so that's going to be real smooth. So, you know, y'all need to check that out. That's uh, July 30th. Okay, okay. You know what I'm talking about? It's a Tuesday, so you know it's going up on a Tuesday for show though. Oh yeah, hey man, it's summertime anyways, man. Right, every day it's San Diego. These, these week, mean? these weekdays don't matter no more. Hey, man. Nigga, it could be win- it be Wednesday, six thirteen. Hey man, fuck it, let's go to the bo- let's right. go turn up. Right, let's go to the beach and turn up let's, and some shit. Let's just get hot, shit, and see what happened from there. You feel me? I feel it. Hell dog. yeah, that's the smoke yeah, yeah, yeah. What you burning? What you what you burning right now? Man, right now I came up here with my my pen, my pocket pen. You know what I'm saying? My, my uh, shout out to Clout, who hooked me up with the, uh, with this nice, distinguished, you know what I'm saying, little pin where you can pop it up right there. I got this brand stuff. You see, it's almost gone, dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all good, though. But I'm smoking on some, uh, I got it with some brand stuff at the uh, cannabis cup. So this, they threw this to me, so I'm like, shit, I don't even know what it is, dog. I know I get shell with it, dog. Probably it get the OG, job done. Probably some OG. You it know get the job done. Oh, it get all way right. more than done. You feel me? Shit. Well, shit, Keys, uh, before we go, I'm going to go ahead and let you get, like, some parting shot, shout-outs, anything you want to say? Oh, for sure. Hey, let me shout-out, you know what I'm saying, One One Africa, who laced me up to keep me cool today with the Finan. You feel me? 
<laughs> yeah. That's why I want Africa, you know what I'm saying? Hey, my homegirl at uh, Medicated Minds who laced me up with the edibles I've been grabbing on. You know, they're good as hell. You know what I'm talking about? And I just want to thank y'all right here, you know, an active podcast, so just keeping it real with the people and everything. You feel me? So, hey, y'all look out for the uh, Hello EP. It's coming soon. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Hello. Hey. Hey, well, once again, man, it's your boy, Mac2301. Keep Marquise Coleon. We out here. My G. I appreciate you. Throw the dubs up. Hey, what's good, baby? We here. Summer block party. Your boy, GDQ. I'm with my man, Mr. J Pro, baby. J Pro Media on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? We here doing the thing. Nice to have you here, bro. Nice you, to man. have you here. Um, so I see that you're kind of switching uh, lifestyles, I guess, right? I um, am, I am. So how has that transition been going, bro? Let them know what you're do you did and what you're doing and kind of a little focus. Okay, so like GDQ was saying, I'm, tr I'm transitioning from being a barber to a full-time videographer, photographer, right? And the transition has been kind of easy because when I was cutting hair full-time, I was still doing photos and videos full-time after work. So I did that for long enough to where I built up my skills, so I started getting clientele. So then I decided to make a, a half transition into photo and video, so not a full jump, but almost a full jump to where now I'm doing mainly photo and video with a little bit of haircutting on the, on the side. And probably in a few months, I'll go straight into photo and video and cutting hair is just something I will do to create content. Something I, I actually enjoy doing it. So like some people like archery, I like cutting hair. That's my thing. It'll be my hobby. Um, so yeah, that's, so that's what I'm doing. That's dope, bro. That's sick as fuck. Yeah, like, I mean, we were just talking earlier and then talking about it, and it's, I mean, a crazy, like, what made you want to switch like that? You know what I mean? Because it's, it's interesting to be kind of independent doing stuff as a barber like that, and then to switch to something else like that. Like, what made you want to do that? So cutting hair came at a good time in my life and provided me a lot of freedom. However, in order to be successful as a barber, you do have to treat it as a nine-to-five. And really, it's a... A nine, a nine to eight, and so I love the act of working for myself. I love being self-employed. However, I don't like being stuck in the same place day in, day out. You know, every single day. After years, it gets very um, monotonous. And the thing that photo and video provides for me is I'm able to travel. I'm able to go on vacations with people. I'm able. It's just like you, you're having a travel adventure career and you get paid to do it and that's something i really enjoy i enjoy uh, making money doing what i love bro <laughs> i fuck with it you're spitting that game bro when we had you on the last podcast too you were spitting game too so like it's cool bro like will you shoot my music video most definitely will you i will will you i will for real, for real i'll for pay real. you i mean perfect not like I hope you're not charging 500 but I mean, like, I'll pay you some, honey. All right, just buy me some tacos. All right. <laughs> All right, bet. Because I need this video shot okay, for Renegade. And okay. I think that you would be... I was looking at your stuff. I didn't really want to ask you, so now is a good time <laughs> to ask you. Because you can't say no, bitch. You <laughs> can't, can't say no on camera. Can't say no on camera. It's like telling a woman <laughs> or a woman saying to a man no when you ask him to marry you in public, <laughs> except it's on video. So keep keep a lookout for that music video. It's coming out soon. Cool, bro. I appreciate it. Uh, let them know where they can follow you again. J Pro Media, right? You can follow me at J Pro Media, J A Y P R O Media. Um, give me a follow. Shoot me a message. I'll follow you back. Uh, yeah, stay linked up. Hit me up. Tap in. Tune in, baby. Activated podcast. We here. Let's Boom. get it. Boom. Hi, right, baby. We here at JDQ Summer Block Party. You know what I'm saying? I got my man Sterling. You know what I mean? What's happening? What's happening? Activated podcast, baby. We here, baby. You know what I'm saying? How's it feel back to, uh, how does it feel to be back in California? Bro, it is absolutely wonderful. It's wonderful every time I come. Just the weather, the vibes, the people. Just, it's a great atmosphere. I got great people out here. You know, hint, hint, wink, wink, you know, all that good stuff. But like, nah, for real, I just, I absolutely love it out here. Just love the opportunity to get to travel and see the world do some networking that's dope bro that's dope yes, yeah sir. i feel like uh california is kind of a place to be and then 
I, I don't know. Y'all come out and like show support. Like you've been coming out a long time. You can't. You've been coming out the most. You know what I mean? Since like we all moved to San Diego, so that's cool as fuck to see. You know? Yeah, what I mean? bro. Like this, like my fifth trip back. Uh, so yeah, it's just it's lit. It's super lit. Like I, I never would have thought like years ago before it was a thing. Like, hey, you gonna go to San Diego a lot? And I'll be like, really? I thought it'd be expensive to travel. I mean, you know, hey, you got good people here. You just make it work out. I feel you. I feel you. So. Uh, let them know what you kind of do. You know what I mean. Let them know what you do. Let them know what you're working on, stuff like that, bro. Shit, I'm a uh, I'm a filmmaker, videographer, video producer, whatever you want to call it. Uh, my brand I'm I'm building and uh, pushing this uh, Silver Arrow Films. Uh, that kind of uh, the backstory on it is a little bit of a play off of like nicknames that related to my name. The silver come from everybody always saying Sterling like the silver when I introduce myself, which is you know cliche and annoying. And then there's a show, Archer, where the main character's name is Sterling Archer. So I took the this, the word Archer and I got the arrow from that. And then, yeah, man, I'm just I'm working on building a brand, pushing it out. I'm trying to network with as many people as possible. Um, I'll do any type of video. It doesn't even matter. What You did uh, one of the Distinct videos, right? Did I did. Uh, yeah, me and the Distinct have done a couple videos together. We got some old ones for some of his older songs that... He wouldn't almost want to show you because it's, it's 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 older work, and I I wouldn't want to show you and it's, it's older work. Older so work. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey. All right, we're not gonna show that one then. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. But yeah, bro, uh, I got some new ones coming out. Uh, I got some videos coming with Dub Ducey. I got videos coming with Distinct. I got videos coming with Um. Uh, you know, we just we out here working, making moves. I, hey, I got videos for whoever need them. I will travel. He will travel. I will and travel. let you know. Let. Let them know. We know that his work is great. And trust me, you're going to want to work with him because it's fire. Trust me. And we only getting better, baby. Hey, I appreciate you. I appreciate you, I appreciate brother. you coming out, bro. Most for real, for real. My boy. Hey, tune into the Activated Podcast. Always. 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 Uh. All right, baby, we here Activated Podcast again. GDQ, baby, GDQ official. I'm here with my mans. Let them know. We out here. It's Black King. You already know what it is. Third flow into the world. Blow. What's going on, Q? We here, baby. You know what I'm saying? How's it feel we to here. be in California, bro? Man, it feel good as fuck out here, bro. It's beautiful weather, beautiful women. Beautiful, man. We got some weed, bro. We got some, we, bro, we got the Activated Podcast, nigga. It's all good. We here, baby. Good. We here. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We here, baby. Oh, Having baby. a good time. Oh, Having baby. a good time. So uh, let the people know what you do, bro, and what you got going on, baby. Man, bro, so it's real simple. My name is Black King. I'm from Chicago, Illinois, and I'm a hip-hop artist. I'm also a brand ambassador for Six Side Apparel. That is what I'm wearing right now. Hold on. Wait a minute. You know, get a good look. You feel me? Never fold on them. Get a good look at that. You feel me? Six Side MMA, Six Side Apparel. That's what we are out here pushing. You know what I'm saying? We always show love to the Activated Podcast, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the homie Q, shout out to Matt, shout out to Walter Ford, you heard me. We out here doing big things, we got some new music coming real soon to hit the streets of San Diego. We real new out here, so we're going to make it happen, you know? We're going to make it happen. We here, baby. The camera just got knocked, you know what I'm it's saying? It so did. But we still making it happen. Exactly, <laughs> you know exactly. I mean? We roll with the punches, baby. We roll you with the punches. I, mean? I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate it. All right, you know what I'm saying? Once again, we here. Yeah, GDQ, yeah. GDQ, Activated Podcast. My man, Black King. Make sure y'all stay on the lookout for the music. Oh, you yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, all yeah. All the modeling going on. All the brand ambassador. You know what I'm saying? We here, and we ain't stopping, baby. Stop six side, baby. We out. We out. Three, two, welcome to the Activated Podcast, baby. I'm here with my guy, Tony, man. Yo, 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 East Salem Coast in the watch. house. You know East how it Coast, is. East Coast, Midwest, and we in the West Coast, yo. Absolutely, man. Yo, Cali, where is that, though? Bro, man? yeah, yo, we both lovely. got the fuck out. I absolutely fucking, I can curse on this shit, right? Yeah, hell yeah, bro. We curse all the time. I'm Italian. It's in my nature. Yeah, bro, you ain't, yeah. I, I went. Up. Cali is the shit. I ain't gonna lie. I'm glad it was a one-way ticket out this bro, motherfucker. This is a, yeah, that was, this was my only yeah, option, bro. my nigga. It was like... Sell drugs or move to Cali. No, it wasn't that. It wasn't that at all. That was my option. Those like, were my options. I'm from Northeast New Jersey, right by Manhattan. <laughs> yeah, nigga. Like, sell crack? We exactly. Sell crack to crack? Yeah. Well, now they smoking that meth and all that other shit. But yeah, that's the white people drugs. White people yeah, drugs. Yeah, them. So we get. get me started with that shit. <laughs> we getting activated with Tony over here, man. We, if, I mean, we've been saying it all day. We over here. 
Uh, we at the summer black party. Y'all can't see, yeah, but it's here. a whole bunch of people black partying right now. There are a lot of people here. He's not lying. <laughs> there's no one behind us. Oh, yeah. there's a guy right here on the soundboard. Yeah, I, think, I don't know what he's doing. He might be sleeping, but got a there are a on. lot of people over here. You got a lot of artists and rappers out here. And if I feel like I'm stealing your show, I apologize. Oh, no, please. You're doing my job for me, nigga. Please, I need you to do that. As long as them paychecks keep coming T- in, I'm good. Uh, tell me about Celeb Watch, though. Shit. All right, so when I was from job? Jersey, I, came, I, I put a video audition on, and I got an email back that said they want me to come out for the final audition. So I was like, final edition. Fuck, fuck it. it up. I spent $177 on a plane ticket. Shit. I fly my ass out here from fucking Jersey. And yup. One land. way, right? One way? One way, dig it. One way. Fuck where, it. Where, you, where you finding round trip at 177? I mean. I, who's fly spirit? spirit? Yeah, yep. I want to land right. You in the cargo and everything, and you just yeah, in no, there no, no, no. with the suitcases? I'd rather walk. <laughs> Look at that. Nah, but so I came out here, I did the audition, and then um, the next day I'm actually going for a job interview. Okay. And the, Smart. The, the producer of the show gave me a call. He wanted to see if I was going to be staying out here. So I was like, yeah, you know, like I'm about to walk in, literally about to walk in for a job interview right now. And we can't talk about what kind of job it is, though. Yep, yep. You're um, right. But it is a job. I get, it's paid, employment. I get paid weekly, not daily. So it's employment. It's a job. It gives me money, and I can buy shit with That's it. all that matters, yeah. And I, I can, can pay still bills. Th- and I can still dip and duck on the fucking bill collector. Exactly. Nah, but so Neo I can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. As at least get I Get low, it. get low, baby. Nah, so um, so the show Celeb Watch basically yeah, that's we're true. trying to take local talent from San Diego and help them out. You know, interview okay. them, talk to them about their goals yeah. and things like that, and what they're trying to accomplish. Give and them, give them a platform that they regularly didn't exactly. have before. And like, so we'll also go to their shows and sell online tickets for them as well. Oh shit, that's different. I didn't know so, that. So people can watch the same thing with the comedians too. I didn't know that. I mean, I think, so yeah, you're kind of a funny them. guy. I think I, I heard you're kind of funny a little, a little bit. bit. Like, I mean, a little, I guess. Like, some- a I got some funnies funny. going. I've heard your comedy. You're pretty fucking funny. <laughs> you're, you're pretty good. Hey, you we made me laugh. Check, check me out. Come see your boy. Check him out. He's funny as fuck. Uh, but no, yeah, we, we can set up a camera just like this, and then people can pay like 10 bucks to watch it. I'm really with that, bro. I'm really with home. that. I'm really with so that. And you're literally talking to a camera. It is. It's kind of weird because you need that automatic feedback because you're just talking to a camera. It's like, da da da. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I and still don't have feedback. that down yet. That's still one thing that I'm really working on. You got to work on the down. It's funny because, like, I'm a fucking clown. I'll make a fool out of myself anywhere, no matter who the fuck's around. That's all comedy but is. Just put the camera here, and it's just like, are we ready yet? Start recording. Oh, record yeah. now? Start wait, sweating wait, wait, like we're doing right now and shit. Dude. <laughs> it's like saying nothing. I'm going to tie it. It's about to smell like garlic in this bitch in a hot second. I'm dead. I'm dead. He's like, really? it is a couple ripe, ripe motherfuckers in here. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh, I'm sure. It, with, with the heat comes the stank. Yeah, yeah. But no, nah, so anyways, besides the celeb watch, I also write movies. Fuck yeah, I have bro. three scripts that I wrote. I'm in the process of writing two others. Don't ask me why I went off beat and went to a second script. I mean, why not, bro? You, It's, it's how the creativity flows, nigga. That's all that matters. That's true, too. Yeah. My, well, so, one, uh, one of them, I have a short script about racism in the home that's that I'm really up, passionate bro. about. That's what's up. Yeah, I think people need to use that medium, bro, and express that shit. Because that's where it starts, man. I don't care what color you are, what gender you are. Racism starts at the home or every race. Hell yeah. You know what I'm Hell saying? Hell yeah. It's, it's so, taught. And it's taught. Because a kid being born don't know nothing about racism. They trying to eat, bro. They just want to cry eat. and shit their pants. Exactly. They don't want to be Suck a titty or two. That's they, all they want. They, they just like us. For me. I like the milky titties. <laughs> but nah, but for real though, so like, I wrote a little short film about that. That's what's up, bro. And then I wrote a horror movie, which okay. I like. I really like it. Trying to get your Jordan Peele on. It, I'm well, a, also eclectic. show my versatility yeah. as a writer. Well, That's it's more lit, of like bro. a thriller suspense than horror, but I do have some jumpy scenes. Can you say the word jumpy? Is, I mean, like I don't jumpy? know. I like, know what it means. Ah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's how I felt when I watched Insidious. It wasn't scary. I was just oh, like, oh, I got oh, titties shit. in the horror movie. Oh, right okay. Right in the beginning act. Shout out to titties and horror. Gotta movies. love titties and horror movies. Yes, that's how you get. That's how you get uh, nominated. I got a towel around here. We ain't got no towel. I gotta blow to get a towel around here. You better just start soaking that that uh, sweat yeah, up, right. boy. Yeah, tell me about it. Um, but yeah, and then I wrote a movie about kind of based on my life and like, um, I come from the suburbs. Okay. Um, so people think of Jersey. I'm sorry. Of the suburbs of Jersey. Of Jersey, 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 Jersey. Or New Jeru. New Jeru. I ain't never heard that of New Jeru. None of that Joyzy. None of that Jersey. None of that Jersey. Nobody does that shit. shit. No, 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 no. That ain't real. I'm from North Jersey, not South Jersey. <laughs> There's a difference. 
I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't no, mean no, to disrespect. No, no. That's the only no, thing I know about Jersey. Offended. You cannot offend me. It is impossible to offend me. Oh, yeah, of course. We do comedy, bro. I already know what it was. I don't get when people go to a comedy show and get offended by shit. How are you at a comedy show getting offended by shit? You're paying money to get shitty? You're paying money to get offended and then complain about it. That shit weak as hell. I mean, so, can I just, like, open a building like this and let people pay to come in and I can make fun of them and they can complain about it? I'd make a great living doing that shit. Hell yeah, bro. What the Sign fuck? me up every day. But now, yeah, so I come from the suburbs, and everyone thinks the suburbs is white picket fences and exactly. shit like that. But... The shit hits the fan there too. Oh, we I got believe murder, it. We got drugs. We got all and, type and, of shit. And that's why I'm glad you get to talk about it. You know um, I mean? real quick, where can everybody find you at, bro? Where, oh, you can check me on you? Instagram, two, Tony Two Cents, Facebook, Tony Two Cents Sabatino. Tony Two Cents. I'm working on getting a podcast and a YouTube channel on my own. I'm going to get on there, you know? Oh, yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Because, you know, I'm just trying to put my, I'm trying to put this ugly ass face all over the map. Say no more. They already say I look like Duff the Baker. <laughs> they, told me, they told me I look like young Frederick Douglass, so don't feel bad, nigga. Uh, all right, all right, this is the Activated Podcast, y'all. I got Tony Two Cents what with me. What it is, what it is. So Jersey let's watch. In the house. Check it out. Y'all just got activated. Boop. Hey. One. Your boy is back. Yo, Real yo, Walter yo. Ford. We activated, baby. I got my mans right here. Mikey know. Chulo. Yeah, boy, Mikey Chulo. <laughs> How you living, Mike? Yeah, I'm good, bro. I'm good. My nigga, my nigga. Uh, we activated today. My guy, he out here. You from VA, right? We talked I'm a little from bit. Yeah, yeah. But you live in Cali. I stay in Cali. Yeah. My guy, yeah. my guy. Did you start? Did you do music in VA? Oh yeah, yeah. I've been doing music since I was like 15, 16. Oh, young boy, yeah. young boy. Every, you know, little niggas get their notebooks and shit, write that shit down, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Get their little rhymes. Yeah. We all had them Curtis Blow rhymes at the beginning, like <laughs> pie and sky and what? <laughs> Licking ass. Yeah, so, um, like how long you been doing it then, bro? Yeah, I've been doing it for about, yeah, about like eight years. Eight like years? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, I'm niggas. Just, I'm just now getting in motion, you know what I'm saying, doing shows and shit, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Had a hectic life growing up and shit, so. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, the, just, but the best part is, though, my nigga, is because yeah. that shit gives you credibility. Oh, yeah. Because you have to yeah. go through the, the real shit. Oh, yeah. Or niggas going to say is, still it is. ain't authentic, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah bro, because I'm from Gary, Indiana, bro. Shit's real as fuck. Yeah. But if I didn't do that, nigga, I wouldn't have these jokes. So, it's yeah. all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so, shit. Uh, you got any projects, any new music, or oh, yeah, you know my, what? Yeah, what? you can um, check out Chulo Smoke on datpiff.com. Oh, you on my yeah. nigga? Hell oh, yeah. yeah. I got about, I got a shitload of music on that Piff, SoundCloud. Just type in Mikey Chulo. Say it's no pick, more. Yeah, pick song you fuck with. You know fuck what yeah. What's your, what's your favorite song that I guess you should, people should just, first song they should click on and they gonna know who you is when they hear that shit? Whatever pop up. Whatever pop up? Whatever pop up. I like that. Yeah. I like that. That nigga bro, said, pick a song. Nigga, yeah, yeah. Find it. <laughs> so tell me about you, bro. So you out here in Cali now making moves and shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and are you liking the scene out here, bro? I mean, we at this event right here networking like a motherfucker. Oh, yeah, Is yeah. it a chill scene out here so far? Yeah, yeah. It's very diverse. You know, yeah, that, that's that, just that, that's your different yeah, to me, man. Yeah, that's a lot different. A lot yeah. different out here. But I like it, though. I, I fuck with it, though. You fucking with it? Yeah. So um, with your music, bro, is it influenced Cali or is it more... Oh, it's both, it's both, because or... I always love Cali on um, hip hop. Old school Cali hip hop. That was part of my inspiration, so Hell that's yeah. like a dream coming out of this bitch making music. Bro. You know what I'm uh, Bro. Uh, living here is a dream. And then yeah. being able to do what you want to do. Yeah. That's your add on. Shit. Yeah, yeah. So uh who's your influences, bro? I mean, you said you had some old school niggas you listen to. Who? Probably Tupac for real. Pop? Probably Tupac. To be real. You can't be go real. wrong with the greatest. I ironically have a Tupac sock on right now, <laughs> my nigga, uh, with a bandana. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's my nigga. That shit no. That shit no. <laughs> Hell yeah, nigga. Hell yeah. Uh, it just Pac, though. Anybody else, G? Anybody sure. from the East Coast that you used to fuck with? Because that's really that's, where the, the Mecca is on yeah, the East. But. Nah, it is. Man, I, I had to go through a whole catalog. I didn't mean to put nah, you yeah. on the spot like that, nigga. No, no, no. You good, you good, good. Well, probably. All of them. Hell yeah, nigga. Yeah. So, um, uh, it say you from Portsmouth, bro. Yeah. Tell me about Portsmouth. I don't know nothing about VA. All How right, is it well, out there? It's real yeah, out there? Yeah, Portsmouth is a small city. Now I'm both black people and white people, mostly black people. 
That's, that's just struggling, trying to make a way, man. Yeah. Really? Most niggas don't make it. They even see 21 for, for real, so. That ass. You know what I'm saying? I just feel blessed to be alive and be here. Bro. And be, and be making music, man. Be sweating in this room with all these yeah. awesome people. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> it's sweating in the bitch here, boy. I'm, yeah. We looking like we baking in this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what's up, bro. Uh, so, um, did you move out here to do music, or did you just move to get out of get out of Fort Smith, or? Well, I mean, yeah. The, or kind of all of the above, yeah, my yeah, bad. Yeah. yeah, I mean, life back home got a little hectic, so fucking around, came out here, you know what I'm saying? Plus, a good, good business move for music, so. Yeah, exactly. You know all of the above, my nigga. Yeah. Oh, man. Hell yeah. Well, shit, Mikey Chulo, uh, give give us some shout outs, bro. Yeah, any any shout outs you want to give? Portsmouth? Man, just shout, yeah, shout out to Portsmouth, dog. We're going to make it, dog. We're going to make it. Hey, bro, you here to put them on, so that's yeah. the thing. Oh, yeah. You, you Portsmouth is here, bro, representing. Already. That's why I feel the same way about Gary. Already. Hey, man, I'm here with my guy, Mikey Chulo. You know, we're going to get him on a whole episode. Oh, yeah. This, this activated podcast, baby, we just got activated. Yeah. We out. Fuck with your boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Mac2301 from the Activated Podcast. And we still here. We still live. We still going up. West Coast Radio Summer Block Party. Hey, we got another good, good guest here for you today. You may have seen him before. He has a video out featuring our co-host, Real Walter Ford. But before I get into more, I'm going to let him introduce himself. What's up, y'all? My name is Michael Brandon, uh, hip-hop artist from San Diego, California. I just put out a project called Art of Perfection. So, you know, you know, I'm just on that campaign right now. I'm just trying to, you know, market that and, you know, keep on pushing the music further and further. How you doing today, though, bro? Bro, I'm I'm good, you G. Good? I'm, I'm good. I can see y'all, man. Like, <laughs> I can the podcast. I see y'all out here. Y'all, y'all moving heavy. Hey, you know man, we mean? just... We just trying to make that shit shake, bro. Yeah. We trying to make it shake. By the time I'm on here, I've been talking to Walter for a minute. I'm like, bro, like I got, like I got to get on the podcast. You know what I mean? Because he was in my video, I chasing yeah. bitches. He was playing like the funny antagonist, and so ever since then, I've been trying to get on. So you know what I mean? So I'm glad that we could do it now. Well, speaking of speaking of the video, like, how did that come about with like you and Walter? Like, how, like man, you know what? Like I was um, putting together like this little, like a uh, music slash comedy show in North Park. And I was just looking on IG, looking for um for funny local comedians, and I came across watching. I was like, yeah, bro's fire, you know what I mean? Like, and he's like, young black dude, like out here doing it. So I just reached out to him, and then he came out, he performed, he hosted, and then um yeah, and Walter then, doing know, some Walter shit. Yeah. But he was like, he was like, hey, I'm gonna be uh, featured in my nigga video or whatever. And I was like, what? Yeah. Hey, who? Yeah. When did this happen? Yeah. And like we seen the video, Walter did it. Walter did what he do. The video was fire. Appreciate my, it. My girl fuck with it. Oh, she did. My That's girl fuck up. with it. That's what's up. Because of the message that you were portraying. That's like, what's up. Like, That's hey, what's up. That's what's like, up. I like him. He's not talking about dog and bitches. Like, That's he got up. in the car and yeah, went to his yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah. And it was Most like, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. yeah. That's what's up. Well, shit. Yeah, um, you got any project? Like, are you working on a project right now? Well, yeah. Well, I just put out a project called Art of Perfection. I put that out. On June nineteenth, on, on six one nine day. So that was a few few weeks ago. So so now, like so for the rest of the year, man. Like like we just we just on that right now. We're gonna keep on pushing it. Keep on uh, dropping videos, making videos. Like um, I definitely have like some new music coming out there too. I got like a big song coming out with with the San Diego legend. You know what I mean? Like so. Okay. Okay. That, okay. Like that. Like and the message that we have in that song um, should, should should definitely like shake shit up. You know what I mean? So um, so yeah, so yeah, so so stay tuned to that. I'll be dropping that song probably within the next month. But right now, man, it's like the art of perfection. Like, the shit that's on my shirt, you know what I mean? Like, like that's the name of the project. Yeah, I, I, you know I fuck what I mean? with so it. I that. fuck with that shit. Is anything on the back? Nothing on the back? Nah, nah, okay, nah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it got nah, nothing on the back. Now, do you have your own line? You have your own apparel line? Yeah, well, um, well, I got a brand called Full Purpose. These are like the shorts right now. Um, but but really, man, like, the merch is just like the um, like uh, the project merch as far as like the art of perfection. So it's like the art of perfection shirts. Art of Perfection sweaters, you know what I mean? But uh, the main focus is the music. We just got the merch to go with it, you know what I mean? So, um, and uh, we don't have anything online yet. We just did like little one-off type of stuff. But um, but within the next couple of weeks, like we're definitely gonna get the merch going. So yeah, man, so. Okay, you know? okay. Yeah. Shit, that, that was good shit. Uh, what about some shows, man? You got shows? Uh, I'm actually gonna be performing here in the next hour or so you know what i mean but, um, yeah so but uh yeah i'm gonna be doing two songs off my project i'm gonna be doing a song called sunday and a song called looking for a come up 
But um, yeah, and as far as the other shows, man, like we're focusing on that right now, actually. So, so, um, so we got more opportunities coming our way. Um, we're just locking everything in right now, and then, and then once I do, you know, um, I'll let everyone know. You know what I mean? So it's on my social media at michaelbrandon.com. Or excuse me, at Michael Brandon. That's M I C H A E L B R A N D X N. That's when I'll keep you guys updated on when all the shows are locked in like that. You know what right, I mean? So, real shit. Real shit, real shit. So where's all your music located? Where can they find you at? Everywhere, man. Like any like whatever your favorite streaming site is, Apple Music, Tidal, Spotify, um, you know, YouTube, uh, everything. You know what I mean? Like Amazon, Google Play, all that shit. You know what I mean? So yeah, my music is everywhere, man. So so check it out, man. Project of the year, in my opinion. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? That's basically it. Now, who do, who do you model? Who, like, who's your inspiration behind your music? Uh, a lot of people. All, like, all the greats, obviously. Um... Uh, Cause I'm I'm definitely lyric driven as far as like my sound my, my sound is definitely soulful soul driven, um, as far as like rappers um, you know I like obviously the greats like Tupac Jay Z you know uh, current artists like I like J Cole a lot I'm, I'm I'm a big Kendrick Lamar fan I'm a big you know I like I like Drake I like a lot of these artists um, you know a lot of like the, a lot a lot of uh, the old school artists as well and like uh, I'm a big R and B and Neil Soul fan so you know what I mean I like Erica Badu I like. Jill Scott, I like D'Angelo. You know what I mean? Music Soul Child, shit like that. So. Okay, okay. Yeah. I say this your man's right here walking by with the oh, is it the art of perfection? Oh yes, my homie James. Yeah. 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 He's on this photographer shit right now. Hey, shout out to Michaels. Michael's photographer right here. Hold yeah. on one second. Yeah, shout out to my nigga James Hunt. You know what I mean? Behind the camera. Right. You know what I mean? He Yeah, yeah. We yeah, were. like he um he he shoots a lot of uh artists in San Diego though too. Like not just me. That's he shoots good like shit, a lot man. of That's good like shit. I'm glad, you, people, you know I'm glad I mean? let's so. see you got a team and y'all all working toward the one yeah, goal. Yeah, we working, bro. man. We trying to be like the activated podcast, you know what I mean? Y'all got the fucking merch going up crazy. Y'all got the yeah, we, shirts. Say, yeah, you see, we got the merch. Man. We I got see y'all out here. You know what I mean? We got the merch. We got the that's merch. Hard, you know what I'm saying? Hey, that's so, yeah, hard, though. Yeah, yeah. But, hey, Mikey, bro, I appreciate you coming through. Likewise, family. You are definitely on our list of, like, getting on for a full podcast. Most definitely. So, but continue to be patient with us. We, of we course, you, of bro. course. Yeah, no, right. no, no, because I appreciate it. Hey, before we go, what size shirt you wear, bro? Uh, XL. Woo, I was right on the money. What? So, I got, I got this new joint. It's a collab between me and uh, Coldivar. I'll say it's my homie over there, uh, Toons. Yeah. Cold of our, we did a little collab. That's love. So that's that's love. That's one for you. Shout out to the Activated Podcast, yeah, man. Yeah. I'm going to definitely, I'm gonna definitely rock this. I'll say you open it up, bro. Show them everything. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. You Shout know out to the Activated Podcast. And then, then this one, this one's from, uh, from me. This is from my clothing line, yeah. Six Side. God damn. It's the, I appreciate it's that, the double man. up t-shirt, bro. Yeah, y'all, I appreciate y'all yep. so much, man. But yeah, bro, hey, again. It's your boy Mac two three zero one from the Activated Podcast. Shout out to Just Activated hit them Podcast. off with some new merch. Make sure y'all shop with us too. SixSideMMA.com. Uh, but yeah, we out here live summer block party. Oh, we gotta get one more picture. Hold up. And and just like that, we out, baby. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the Activated Podcast. Up. It's your boy Real Walter Ford, and I'm back with the awesome Miss Susie. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks Woo. for coming. This is West Coast Radio Summer Block Party. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Walter, and the, an activated podcast. Yes, thank y'all for letting us be part of this. <laughs> um, I don't know if y'all know this is like what the third event now that's lit as fuck. It is lit. Like, There's lit a lot fuck. of vendors. Vendors is a lot of people. Um, in and out, we have an outside stage, an inside stage. Yee, leveling yeah, it's up. Yeah, starting to be real lit inside. Leveling up. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm glad to be a part of this, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I was a nobody till I started doing this, so. Uh, this is leveling me up. It's a whole bunch of people networking, all kind of artists, from people that draw to people that do music right. to people it's that a, paint on toes. It's a space where an artist can come in and and give out the audience who they are, what their talent is. May that be like artists or um, rappers, music, um, bloggers, um, pretty much any much, anything. Every creativity outlet media you can imagine. Um, so, so what do you do exactly for West Coast TV? Right, so I'm part of um, co-creating some events and mainly on Fridays we have a dinner gang show. Okay. We, uh, right, we come in um, and invite people 
uh, all about on the West Coast scene here particularly. We want to unite San Diego, so we try to interview a lot of San Diego rappers. Exactly. It's a lot of them, too. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. You got a lot of episodes. <laughs> you got a lot of episodes. How about um, yourself? So um, what's your guys' uh, next major uh, event? Um, so the Activated Podcast is next huge major event. You know, actually, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know, to be Live honest. In the moment. Live in we're the just, moment. We're just doing a whole bunch of shows. Okay, we just okay. got a whole bunch of shows lined up. Uh, we're booked to the end of the year. So okay, what we're doing is pretty much just putting out a whole bunch of content. Hey, end of the year, that's like six months. So it's like yeah. around the corner. Yeah. That shit so went by quick. That's really our goal. And then we're going to do our own festival next year. So I guess that's our next big right. thing. Yeah. It's yeah. just still this, in the right now and planning This podcast interview can take you to Hell places, yeah. definitely. Hell yeah. I got a big show, though. Come see me on the 26th. 26th? Do some comedy. Okay. Comedy Palace. Boop. Um, but I love West Coast TV, though, man. They always bring the community together. Um, what's, what is, like, the overall mission, I guess, or right. the, yeah, I don't even know how better oh, to word it. Just to unify the, the music in San Diego, to really have its name and produce a time and a place where everyone can unite and, and rap, get together, have a good time, uh, talk, smoke. Um, yep, and that one, too. <laughs> Next time, and, can we produce some air conditioners? Because I'm in this motherfucker's sweat. Um, sweat. No, I'm just laying. I'm just videography, laying. it's not only that, it's like, you know. Videography, there's actually the production of music a lot of people don't yeah. realize. So, shout out to all Everything. the producers that are in here. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of producers in here, too. You know, all the engineers in between. Um, yeah. Have you been working with them for a long time? Have you been? It's been since November. Um, I came here uh, last time when it was here. It was pretty lit. Um, yeah. Shit. And this is in, we had a couple of other ones last in March. And now it's just growing and growing and growing. Definitely, definitely. Is the is the next event already set up or it's still in the works? Or can um, you spill any beans? You gotta grab MTK. You know he's 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 a he's we, a mind behind the we show. We gotta get MTK on here. And uh, <laughs> he's talking about next year, and I was like, I think we should have one more at the end of the Fuck year. Fuck yeah, <laughs> you can spit it into this year. These niggas is thirsty to get on the stage. Uh, more Hell time yeah. on stage, definitely. Yeah. Hell yeah. So <laughs> before we wrap it up, Susie. Oh, nice. Uh, if you didn't know, the Activated Podcast, all the apparel is from Six Side. Okay. Oh. So, I don't Six. know if you like pink, but that's Actually, your own pink skirt. I'll take it. Of <laughs> course. Yeah, yeah, yes. Well, you, you, you like it now? No, I'm just yeah, playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> it's cool. You can hang it up, and it'll get some lint on it and look pretty while you got lint on it. I'm a, I'm a tie dye it. Then this is also another Six Side shirt. Oh, for nice. You. I love Six Side. So, Thank you for coming on. Um, before we get off here, thanks for thanks for being here. Thanks for being behind our backs, and you know, and uh, more power to podcasts and music yes. and hip hop. <laughs> yeah, all of that. Yeah, Anybody want to shout out? Uh, shout out to West Coast, MTK, everybody. Building. Shout out MTK. Thank you. That's it. All right, y'all. This is Susan. I'm Walter Ford. This has been the Activated Podcast. We out. Boop. What's good, y'all? It's your boy GDQ. Uh, we're here at the sa the summer block party held by West Coast Radio TV. I'm with my man's bro. Go ahead, introduce yourself. What's good, City Boy Ghost, Oceanside, California. Really appreciate you guys having me here on the Activated Podcast. You know, I really didn't even expect to come to this show or be at this block party event. It just kind of happened. You know what I mean? So, cool, yeah, bro. Here. How'd you hear about the block party then? Um, as a matter of fact, my engineer works pretty closely with Mitchie, so um. Last, I mean, last night they were they were up at the studio talking about it. I had heard him say something about it, but they were in the studio discussing some shit, and I just kind of briefly bumped into him and saw it happening. You know what I mean? So from there, it was like, yeah, we're meeting up and going together, right? That's crazy. No, that's cool. It's crazy how like life works like that and shit. Uh, it's crazy how connected everybody is without knowing it. Yeah. It's really nuts, bro. And then. It just, you get everybody to come together, and so you see, like, you'll talk to one person, and then you won't even know, but they'll end up being here, you know what I mean? Yeah. You'll see them one time, they'll come here, and then you'll see them be homies with someone else, you know Oh, what bro, I, mean? I, I bumped into plenty of people, like, even before I walked over here, I bumped into somebody that I only know online, you know what I mean? One of the one of the caterers I know only online, but they came to one of my shows recently, so, I mean, it's, it's crazy how that works with the network, but... Even people I don't know that I've been bumping into that swear they've seen me somewhere, they've met me somewhere, they've been to one of my shows. So it's it's nuts, bro. The energy's nuts. That's cool, bro. So uh, you're an artist then, right? Yeah, yeah. I make music. I do comedy skits. 
You know what I mean? I used to dabble in engineering a little bit. I do some photography. That's dope, bro. Do you got any singles out, any albums, anything like that? Yeah, yeah. Actually, we dropped the Suicide Tape in January, January 22nd. That was a little uh, it was a little eight track uh, EP. So, you know, we got good responses on that one. We got it playing on a couple radio stations from here out to Virginia. Um, what we have coming up next, we just recently dropped a few singles off 21 Ghost. That's an album we're doing with uh, Overtime Hustling Magazine. So uh, definitely be on the lookout for that. We dropped Anemic and we dropped Gelato off that featuring Jace the Hooligan, featuring Rude Hippie. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a slow leak for the album and we're going to get the magazine coverage and everything. Shout out Lester 21K, Overtime Hustling. Dope, bro. Dope, bro. Uh, let them know where they can find you, bro. Hey, you can find me on um, all social media platforms, at City Boy Ghost. All streaming platforms, just two words, City Boy, just like it sounds, and then Ghost, City Boy Ghost. Cool, bro. Any more shout-outs you got or anything like um, that, bro? Shout-out Lower Cali. Shout-out Pacific Ocean Records. Um, I want to give a big shout-out to Super Mega Ego, Poncho Beats, all my people in iRap, you know what I mean? Um, Dead Set Academy. Just keep doing what y'all do. Follow what you do. Follow your heart. And, uh, you know, keep your passion in it. That's the only infinite fuel there is in this life. Good shit, bro. I appreciate that, bro. Hey, it's I nice appreciate y'all having me, bro. For real, for real. Uh, as long as we got your shit, bro, we're going to get you on another episode, bro. One day, bro, we'll stay in contact or some shit. Yeah, that's We do beautiful. full-length episodes and shit like that. So and you guys are San Diego, through. right? Yep. Yeah, that's yeah. San Diego. Yeah, we're Oceanside, bro, so that's not even far. Bet, bro. Bet. Yeah, we in there. I Good appreciate looking, you, man. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Check this out. You already know who it is. It's your boy, Mac2301 from the Activated Podcast. I got a group with me today. I got a duo with me yes, today. Sir. I got uh, Junior King. Yes, sir. It's Junior King. What's up? What's up? Levon in the building yeah, with me, man. We're hey. We in there, <laughs> hey, what's good with y'all, fellas, man? How y'all doing? Chilling, man. We chilling, man. Thanks for having us. Thanks hey, for having us. I appreciate y'all. Hey, I, I really think this is the first time we've had, like, a, a duo. Oh, really? Yeah, on a podcast. You know what? You know, you know what? It's always been like. Well, we actually we actually have a group, like 10 niggas, and we just dropped a mixtape, all 10 of us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're called the we're called the High Club. Just dropped a mixtape called the High Club Mixtape. Check it out on SoundCloud. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 10 niggas. Wait. Well, like nine of us rap. Nine of us rap. And Oh, one yeah. one makes a difference. Yeah. One, so way, like, no, niggas. no, we ain't got ten niggas. It's just like nine that rap, you know. <laughs> the other nigga, he's just there, you yeah, know what I'm there. saying? Hey, I feel it though. So like, how long do your songs beat in? Like, no, we just have like sometimes it's like three of us, sometimes yeah. it's four of us, sometimes it's two of us, sometimes it's one of us. We switch it up, we switch it up, and we all like we all like do our own thing. Like, and we also make music separately. When we come together with the group, is a high club, and like. We make the tape together, and then like we just dropped the tape, right? So like we all gonna we all gonna do our own thing, make EPs, drop singles, and then we're gonna do a high club tape volume two, coming coming so, soon. So how many how many times have all ten of y'all niggas rapped on one song? Oh, we haven't done that yet. Yeah, we, we haven't done that yet. Though. We haven't done that's that yet. That, that see okay see that's that high shit. Like yeah. I get with my niggas back in the crib, it'd be like ten of us. Yeah, yeah here beat. Next thing you know, it's like. Ten motherfuckers rapping. Yes, sir. Yeah, we haven't got we haven't gotten the studio like that yet. Okay. So where y'all from? We're from Temecula, Temecula, California. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, how long y'all been in the game? How long y'all been doing this? Like three years. Like three years. We started like three years ago. We made our first song. We like recorded a song like in his closet with like this trash ass mic. But now you know we, we've come a long way. You went through the, you went through the struggle. Yeah. I know you went through the struggle. We I feel it. We got a desktop mic, and then we had a, like a, a high school like foam finger. We cut it out. We put a do rag on it, and we got a we got a metal hanger like connected to the desktop mic. Like we was really doing some innovative shit. Oh, some MacGyver ass shit, Hella. man. Hella. So so what made y'all get into this? What made what inspired y'all or who inspired y'all? Honestly, I just wrote a I wrote a verse one day, and then I went over to his house to record it, and he wrote his verse. We made a song, and then the rest is history. We just kept making bangers after that. Yeah, we went on Twitter. We was like, "Hey, so when he retweets, and me and Juno finna drop like a little song." And then like after that, like we made a song, and then like we got a, we got some support from our city, and then from there we just been kept pushing the music, kept making music, cause like it's Bonnie time, my niggas, and it's like. We out here creating shit, so it's lit. It's real lit. Okay, okay. Now, you know, when you was describing yourselves, you was, like, different, you know, lit on your own shit. Yeah. Like, 
What separates y'all? What do you feel like separates y'all? Honestly, we, we have our own sound, you know, like, it's 10 of us, but when we come together, we have our own sound, but like, our own ways, you know? Yeah. So, so we, we all bring something new to the table, you know, something different. Yeah, we all, honestly, like, we all got our own flow, we all got our own sound, so it's like, we all unique in our own way, and we just do our own thing. It's lit, yeah. And then we just, we just come together and make beautiful music as a unit, you know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, do y'all have like a, a, a group page? Like where where can they find you guys? Yeah, we have a hold on. Where can they find all ten of y'all at one place? We have like, a we have a I don't think I don't think people are gonna be too happy about yeah, yeah. like man, these motherfuckers gave me ten IG names, five Twitters, four SoundCloud. No. So we got a, a high club Instagram and Twitter. So it's at high club G49. That's the that's the uh, Twitter and Instagram for the whole gang. All right. Now you got a uh, you got shows coming up. Um, yeah, we got a show. We just actually had our first show like not too long ago. Our first ever show, and then we uh, we uh, opened up for them. Okay. And then now we're about to be a headline for a little hookah Good lounge. Shit. So yeah. Good shit. Hey. We're alive about that. We're excited. Hey, progress, bro. Progress. Yes, progress. Yes, progress. Sir. Hey, before we let y'all go, man, what's your y'all got any shout outs y'all wanna give? Anything they wanna know? Let's yeah, shout out to all the high clubs. Shout out Pierce, shout out Bob, shout out Jared, Justice, Isaiah, Keem, Dre, all the niggas. Shout out everybody. Shout out High Club, nigga. We out here. We shout out, out here. shout out, hey. Uh, they forgot to shout out their cousin Ray Ray, Lil Peanut, Uncle Peaches, you know the mama in them. Hey, shout out Activated Podcast. Shout out Activated Podcast. Hey, hey, Thanks for having us. Hey, y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Mac2301, Activated Podcast. We live at the West Coast Radio Summer Block Party. Hey, y'all already know what it is. We out. It's high Club. <laughs>